It is based upon based upon the law of probability. Based upon the law of probability. Second point. It is a graph between graph between the fraction of molecules. What is law of probability? It's just based on the probability. There is no exact thing of it. Like what should be the uh, value of the speed of a given fraction of molecules based on that. So just a guess. It's not very exact. Okay. Graph between the fraction of fraction of molecules and the speed of the molecules. Fraction of molecules and speed. The third point, the fraction of molecules of molecules having zero speed or very low also you can write zero or very low speed and the fraction of molecules having very high speed very high speed is negligible is negligible the fourth point the maximum fraction of molecules <coughs> fraction of molecules having have Common speed which is the most probable speed. Most probable speed. At a given definition. Temperature, the area under the curve is constant. Last point, as temperature increases, the graph becomes flatter means it shifts towards the right. Hence, the most probable is speed VMP increases. Copy down these points. Okay, you see the question that they ask into this. This uh, the only two three things is important to this. The graph that you see, the y-axis is the fraction of molecule. This is the fraction of molecule. And this side we have the speed. Okay, fraction of molecule and speed. If you see the graph, it goes like this.
Okay. So this point you see corresponding to this point. What is this? The fraction is maximum, right? So, so like, so so like you know, what are you doing? by fraction you need to say there were 100 molecules. Like the speed of one molecule divided by 100 molecules in the fraction of that one. You guys are losing Okay. Now you see corresponding to this point, the speed that we have is this, right? This is the speed. Now this fraction of molecules is maximum, right? So maximum number of molecules corresponding to this, the speed that we have, we call it as most probable speed. This is VMP. Most probable speed. Okay? And we have some velocity here also, you see. This velocity is the VRMS, root mean square velocity. Root mean square velocity, huh? no, randomly I have given you. Why it is more than this? Because we know VRMS is maximum, then V average, and then V MP. So with this relation, VRMS should be somewhere this side. And in, in between these two, we'll have the average speed, right? So average speed will be somewhere here. This is V average. Okay? So you see, as the speed increases, VMP to VRMS, the fraction of the molecules having this speed decreases. Right? That, 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 that's what the point is, that the fraction of molecule is very less with high speed. Similarly, the molecules which has very low speed is also very less. Okay, this is what the Maxwell, uh, you know, uh, observation. So fraction just means number of chemicals. So suppose we have 100 molecules, right? Out of 100 molecules, 90 molecules will have the same speed, and that speed is VMP. So fraction of molecule having this speed is what? 90 divided by 100. This is what this axis. Understood? Okay. So now this graph is fraction of molecules at V uh, and the speed. So based on this, what is this speed we have, what is this speed we have, they ask one question, okay? So the molecule, the maximum number of molecules or fraction of molecules corresponding to that, we have VMP, most probable speed, and we know VMP is minimum, so obviously VRMS and V average will be more than this, so will be right side of this point. Okay, so like this. Ah, we'll discuss that. Okay, so this is at some temperature we have this graph. Okay, now you see when we draw this graph at two or three different temperature. Okay, so one point I have given you as temperature increases, the curve becomes flatter, right? It shifts towards the right side. So when you draw this graph at different different temperature, at one temperature we'll have graph like this. Another temperature will have graph like this, and another temperature the graph goes like this. Huh? It's very simple and straightforward. As you increase the temperature, kinetic energy increases. Kinetic energy increases, means velocity increases, means most probable speed also increases. And that is only possible when the graph shifts towards the right side. So you see, if this temperature is T1, this is T2, and this is T3, so most probable speed is what? This is speed. This is VMP1. And T2 temperature, most probable speed is this, which should be more than the most probable speed is the T1 temperature because the temperature is increasing. Right? And VMP is this corresponding to this. So as the temperature increases, you see, the most probable speed increases, and the graph becomes flatter. The fraction of molecule having this speed obviously decreases because the velocity is increasing. So lesser number of molecules will have the same speed. See the fraction of molecules decreases, but the most probable speed increases. Okay? So that, that's what we can say at a given temperature, we'll have this kind of graph, but at different different temperature, the most probable speed will increase. So if you can write here from this relation, T3 should be maximum and T1 should be minimum. And corresponding to this, VMP3 is maximum. VMP1. Understood?
So temperature relation is the another kind of question they ask on this. Second time. Done? The last thing here. Suppose these are four graphs we have different, different graphs. And we have four different gases. Suppose O2, N2, H2, and helium. So which gas represents which graph? So why is the root mean speed? Root mean speed where? I have discussed this now. We average formula is what? Root of 3 RT by M. Average is 8 RT by pi M. And most probable is 2 RT by M. So you can take the ratio V R M is maximum you'll get with this formula. <laughs> This one? We have done it in the last class. VRMS, VRMS, V average and V most probably. Done? So the question here is, we have four different graphs and four different gases we have. Which gas represents which graph? Helium will be the highest. Huh? Helium will be the highest. What highest? So lowest Helium. Hydrogen, helium, N2 and O2. Ah, what is the answer? First one is hydrogen. Okay, tell me one thing. For this graph, VMP is what? VMP here is this. So from this graph we can see what? This is the order we have. VMP4 is maximum, right? VMP4 is maximum. And what is the formula of most prevalent speed? VMP is equals to what? 2RT by M root over of it. So most probable speed is inversely proportional to the square root of the molecular mass. So molecular mass is maximum for oxygen. It means its most probable speed should be minimum. Right? So this is O2. This is N2. This is E. And this is H2. This is how we assign the gas. Easy. These two, three types of questions they ask. Okay. So there is a new writer. No, no, not numerical. So ideal gas is gas. Huh? Yeah, the first part, till ideal gas. Previous goes to NRT on that. After that, we have intervals and all they ask theoretical questions, conceptual questions. Mostly. Done? Is it clear? So what is the formula? 8RT by 5M. So is it that VRM is 3RT by MD? Yes, 3RT by M. You can take a ratio in this. So, so average is three R T by no average is eight R T. RMS is three R T by M. Average. So R M S is supposed to be the most. Oh, so eight R T by M is maximum. So you eight R T by three R T by M is maximum. It's 8 RT by 5. Oh, 8 RT by 5. VRMS is root 3 RT by M. V average is 8 RT by 5 M. 
So you see it is 8 by pi is 2 point something you are getting here. Right? And Vmp is 2RT by M. So obviously Vmp is minimum. Vrms is maximum. Okay? 